Blessings, beautiful people. I pray you guys are having a great day and happy Holy Week. Yeah. Happy Holy Week. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Today, I am journaling my sermon notes. And I am in James chapter 4, beginning in verses 13 through 17. Yeah. And then I'm going to go over to Psalms 139 as well. And the title of the sermon was called Number, Numbering Our Days. And it was preached by the late Bishop Nate Holcomb, who is now going home to be with the Lord. And I have a ser uh, his sermon series on DVD. So last night I was listening. I felt led to listen to it. I'm so glad I did because it blessed my entire soul. So I'm going to read to you James 4, beginning in verse 13. Come now and pay attention to this. You who say, today or tomorrow, we will go to such or such a city and spend a year there and carry on our business and make a profit. Yet you do not know the least thing about what may happen in your life tomorrow. What is secure in your life? You are merely a vapor, like a puff of smoke or a whisk of steam from a cooking pot that is visible for a little while and then vanishes into thin air. Instead, you ought to say, if the Lord wills, we will live and we will do this or that. But as it is, you boast vainly in your pretension and arrogance. All such boasting is evil. So any person who knows what is right to do, but does not do it to him, it is sin. Hallelujah and amen to that. So he was talking about, he gave this illustration and oh my God, it literally blessed my life. He said, in this room right now, we have all people of all different ages and all different seasons of life. We have a newborn here, and I think the oldest person in this room is 93 years old. But the fact of the matter is, we don't know who the oldest person is in this room. And I find my minds, we would all say the 93-year-old, right? But that may not be true. Because the newborn that's 15 days old may die tonight in his sleep. The 93-year-old may outlive the 35-year-old that's in the room. So that would make the 35-year-old the oldest person in the room. What he was saying was that our, our, the Bible says that our days are numbered. That in Psalms 139, it says that in God's book, all the days of our lives have been written down, meaning the day we will be born and the day we will die. No one knows our death date but God. No one knows. This is the reason why the Bible tells us to number our days, right? And to don't just make plans on our own. Oh, I'm going to California next year. You don't even know you're going to be alive next year. Don't take for granted that just because you are in your teens or your 20s or 30s or 40s or 50s, that you have your whole life ahead of you. Because the fact of the matter is, the majority of your life may be behind you. It doesn't matter your age. That doesn't matter. We are all called to number our days and to do time management, right? Like, we, we have to be good stewards of our time, of our life, right? Because we don't know how long we're going to be here. We don't know that. Right? Some of you listen to me. You may be 
51 years old and I'm 63. That doesn't mean because I'm 63 and you're 51, you're going to outlive me because we don't know that. We don't know that. But God in his sovereignty, sometimes he will reveal to people how long they have on the earth. He will, yo, yes, he will. He will sometimes reveal to a person their death date. He will do that sometimes. So the sermon was so awesome. It made me think. It made me do a lot of thinking and reflecting. And it made me want to just be a better steward over the time God has given me. That's why in my last video, I was telling you guys that I was going to seek the Lord and ask him if I should be doing this, continue with my YouTube channel because I want to make the best of my time. And if I'm not making an impact for the kingdom of God on my YouTube channel, then I see no reason in doing it because that's, that would be, that would not be good management of my time that I have on earth, right? So we have to number our days because none of us know how long we're going to be here. We don't know that. We don't know that. We don't know if we're going to live to be 70 or 15 or even 7. We don't know that. So we should be good stewards over our time and we should learn to number our days. I pray you guys were blessed. Please give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. But most of all, remember that it is all about Jesus. It is all about him. I love you guys with the love of the Lord. Enjoy the rest of the video. Bye-bye.